Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is, I think it's Wednesday. I know it's the 21st, but I think it's Wednesday. It might be Thursday. In any event, uh, we had light rain starting last night on and off all day today. And so filming has been uh, sparse, but I have uh, gotten a few projects done and a little bit of filming. So let's take a look at uh, the first thing is that when Drew was here on Tuesday, so today's Thursday, yeah, okay, I'm getting there. <laughs> so when Drew was here, uh, one project he helped me with was moving my chest freezer from the mobile home into the tiny cabin. So that was a huge step in the in the uh, progress of getting my inside of my cabin finished. So let's take a look at my chest freezer. We got that Bob, Fifi gets to go in first. All right, come on kiddos. Doors open, you don't have to wait for me. Hey Bob, you've been getting up there a lot more often. Uh oh, Fifi's about ready. Yeah, there she goes. Don't let me stop you, Fifi. Oh, I guess not. She, Fifi took that over the other day. Anyway, <laughs> yes, uh, Drew helped me bring in my chest freezer, and it's there on the back of the wall, and yes, Hi, Fifi. There is enough room for the door to open. I measured that when Prep Stutter Bob was here. <laughs> there she is. That's where she slept last night. It was raining. Fifi was all curled up. You gonna do that again tonight, Fifi? We're supposed to get some thunderstorms tonight, so. Alright, so yes, I have a chest freezer in my quote-unquote living room, and that's okay with me. That's not a, not a big deal to me. I am more interested in function than what stuff looks like. And who knows, if I ever get a front porch or, you know, they're, they're, it might not stay there forever. I might find another place for the chest freezer. But for right now, that's the place that makes the most sense for it. Um... When the mobile home goes, I'll lose, well, I might lose electricity in the mobile home. Um, before then, what are you doing, Bob? So, uh, yeah, that's, that's as good a place as any. Bob, just because I'm talking doesn't mean you get to come over here and bug me. Another project, I'm here by the back door, but another project, those are my snacks. Those are, I blame Drew for those. Um, another project I put together this shelf, which uh, is exactly like the shelf that was there, except I moved that shelf over there for right now. And I'll probably put that shelf in the hallway eventually, but for right now, that is where it's going. I uh, kind of had to move it out of the way to make room to get the chest freezer in here. So, yeah, I just put that little rolling shelf over there. It'll probably end up in the in the hallway and then I can put another chair or who knows what I'll do and yes I'm still organizing and finding places for everything and the last project I worked on while it was raining or dark or both I uh, got my coat rack up this was gifted to me and the tiny house that love built and the tiny house that love filled with stuff <laughs> Including a lot of these jackets and and uh, long sleeve shirts, but yeah, it is the it is the season, and I find myself grabbing, you know, like today was the raincoat, and then uh, you know, grabbing whatever long sleeve thing I I need, and that is the perfect place right here by the back door. So thank you once again for the coat rack, and it is up and put in use. Yeah, Drew made me that sticker a long time ago. It was kind of a first draft on my t-shirt design. And I stuck it on the 
on the chest freezer now. Well, now i got a place for more stickers, and I've got a bunch of stickers that I planned on putting on here. So I'll just, uh, I'll get this wiped down and cleaned up, and then uh, I might put some stickers on the front or on the side. Probably won't put any more on the top, because that's a nice surface that, you know, somebody could uh, pull up a chair and and uh, grab a bite to eat on there, or I could put stuff together on there, or, yeah. It is a... Uh, it is a useful surface. It can't keep stuff on there all the time because I got to get in the freezer, but it's a useful work surface. The chest freezer is also good for setting my camera on so I can do this in, uh, in front of the front door. Yeah. It's nice being able to look out that door and see the, see the flock and the, <laughs> the front window and see number two and the eight babies and the other flock and I'm just, I'm halfway surrounded by chickens, so that means I just need more chickens to to surround myself, you know, on that side of the cabin. I've got this side covered, now I just need that side covered. Okay, enough of that. Um, uh, let's see, yeah, all the rain, just uh, inside projects, putting the shelf together, sorting stuff, moving around, shuffling. To get the chest freezer in here, I had to do some shuffling and some sorting, and um, yeah, I do that here and there all the time. But anyway, on an up note, lots of chicken footage, uh, and so I hope you enjoyed that. See, last night I had no internet. Internet went out, uh, late afternoon yesterday, and I did not get it back until this morning. So, that was a huge old bummer. That kind of inspired me to do the, to do the coat rack last night, because I couldn't watch anybody's YouTube videos. Alright, enough, enough yakking. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting me. And as I'm, I'm getting closer to 10,000 subscribers. I said I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything until I got to 9,980. That's when you're close, as far as I'm concerned. Because I only average like two new subscribers a day. So, you know, when I was at 9,800... Well, that's a hundred days if you you know to get two hundred subscribers. So you never know, and it's not it's not a huge deal to me. One thing that I I'm looking more forward to is hitting two million views. And I was at one million nine hundred ninety five thousand uh, this morning. So I'm five thousand views away from two million views. And to me, that's a you know that's a bigger milestone for me than. Than the number of subscribers so uh, hopefully that'll happen this month both of them will happen this month that would be cool I didn't think I'd get to 10,000 this year but I had a little spurt the past couple weeks so thank you to whoever's new <laughs> thanks for coming in and watching and uh, now I really will stop yakking away so thanks for watching and take her easy everybody I have just placed 24 eggs into my incubator with the automatic turner, 24 eggs, nine of those are blue from my Whiting True Blues, those will be purebred and then that makes 15 of those are brown with a Whiting True Blue Father, so those will be green or olive eggers and I'm not counting any of these before they hatch <laughs> this is not uh, the best conditions in which to hatch I'm doing this in the mobile home where the temperatures fluctuate, especially here in the fall. So I'll, I'll it, we'll see, we'll see if anything, uh, um, if I get any chicks out of this. I hope I do. We'll see.